what was your biggest obstacle, the biggest doctrinal obstacle to becoming Catholic, would you say? It was certainly the papacy. I mean, that was, uh, without a doubt, the biggest issue. And I, I'll tell the story. I, pretty... I, I really, I really think that this is why orthodoxy does appeal to the modern Protestant. It feels like the modern Protestant right. has no roots. He's sort of severed from any substantive heritage or tradition. He wants the tradition. He wants the beauty of the liturgy, but he doesn't want the papacy. I don't, right. I don't say that's the case with everybody, but I can see that being a big factor. So, all right, tell us, tell us about that. Why it was an obstacle and how you overcame it. Well, it really is real authority from heaven. I mean, this is this is a place in which God speaks to uh, his people. It's the place from which governs the nations, governs our lives. And that's that's no small thing. So there's no wiggle room, really, with with the pope. Um, He really is the vicar of Christ. And you have to take that claim. But I moved to Oxford midway through my catechesis. And I arrived on a Thursday evening, uh, you know, was walking through the town on the Friday. See the, uh, I see the Oxford Oratory, a famous place where Tolkien went to Mass, <laughs> where, uh, where John Henry Newman preached. Uh, Gerard Manley Hopkins was a curate there for some time mm-hmm. and thought, I got to go there. So Saturday morning, I go to the Mass. I look around for a man with a collar on and uh, he I go up to him at the end he was talking to an old man and I asked him I said could you carry on uh, carry on my catechesis my catechetical formation and he said oh actually I'm not the man that you should be looking for and he started to look around and the old man that he was speaking with says no he's not the priest he's the bishop and I just couldn't be able to, I, I didn't I, I wasn't able to identify him I don't think he was wearing a pectoral cross or any purple and then the bishop turns around and he says, yes, well, this is the man of Oxford. This is Walter Hooper. Hmm. And Walter Hooper was C.S. Lewis's former secretary. And so I, yeah. so I thought, wow, 36 hours in, this is an awesome experience. Um, wow. But anyways, I, I eventually did find the right man with the right collar on. And, <laughs> I, uh, and I asked him if he would carry on my catechesis. And he said very sternly and grave and very, very... Uh, you know, it was very serious and very holy man. And, and he asked me, is this catechesis to become a Catholic? And my heart dropped to my stomach and I said, uh, yes, I think it is. <laughs> but I immediately called up the Orthodox priests uh, at that point. And I actually had a chance of meeting uh, Metropolitan Callistos Ware, oh, a bishop wow. in the church. And he's, he's an amazing man. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I was able to ask him some questions about uh, a meeting that happened between the patriarchs. Please spare no Benedict. detail at this point. <laughs> Please tell us everything. <laughs> so there we were drinking sweet sherry uh, <laughs> after a Vesper service he celebrated. Wow. And I started to ask him some great questions, thanking him for his books and all of that. And I, and I came to this question of a meeting that he had with the patriarchs and Pope Benedict in mm. 2008. And I said, you know, what were the details of reconciliation that you were speaking about then? And he said, oh, it was not just for reconciliation that we met. We needed to gather together and we needed the Pope to be able to lead us and gather us and unite us because we were having so many uh, contentious conversations on our own. And I thought, oh, my gosh, if you need a Pope, then I sure need a Pope. And that was very (laughs) relieving at that point. Wow. What did he think? Did you share with him your interest in Catholicism? Uh, well, I didn't actually, because I was I was always very scared, to be honest, to bring bring this up with people, um, and I would always kind of pivot one way or the other, saying, you know, I'm really going to become an Orthodox, or yeah, I'm really going to become Catholic, and depending on who I was talking with, and uh, and so I never got an answer, but I I had the questions that I was looking for answered. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.